Hey, so what are the key components of a manufacturing execution system? A mess. Um, they mean lots of different things to lots of different people. Some systems out there cover absolutely everything uh, in the manufacturing business. Uh, others do really, really, a few really specific things really well. Uh, so in this video, I wanted to cover uh, five kind of key areas where I think a MERS can add value to a business and go into some of the specific features under the, those areas, which um, which I think uh, MERS functionality can be grouped into. Um, and the point of this is to help you go away and kind of form a checklist of what you think you need from a system like that and what kind of benefit that they'll have to your business. So let's get right into it now. So. The first one I think is uh, around planning. So helping you plan your manufacturing process, your factory. Um, and the, the features that you usually see in there are things that let, are features that let you do production planning, production scheduling, and assigning different work centers and people uh, across a site or multiple sites. So what, uh, in terms of what a MES does, uh, there's sometimes a little bit of an overlap uh, between or a, 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 they join together between an advanced planning and scheduling system. Um, what they typically do is they connect to your ERP system, uh, take pull in all of the incoming works orders, uh, sales orders or build to stock orders. Um, they the mess should understand what the routing is for that product and what labor and machine requirements are um, and it should let you slot those into your production work calendar in a kind of a sensible time that will let you know whether you're going to uh, achieve the deliver the expected delivery date or not or if you've got any problems and you've got to add in some extra resource or move your schedule around so that's i think the first one uh, tools to help you plan out your uh, production schedule uh, number two is things related to the process. So um, a MES should give you live feedback on your manufacturing process. So you should be able to go onto it and immediately see what the overall status your manufacturing process is at in terms of efficiency, in terms of where specific manufacturing orders are. Um, it should, and, and the thing that this is trying to resolve is is just like that painful thing where you've got to walk around your factory looking for paper documents to actually find where an order is for a specific customer, um, or that thing where you've got to collect where it takes you like uh, at least a day or maybe a week to uh, to pull all the efficiency data from all your different work centers, compile that into a report before you can see how well you did last week, rather than just immediately seeing how things are going now. And the features in there are things like the, the ability to track work in pro progress, um, the ability to establish a routing for different types of products, um, and to be able to uh, see what, how that pro and to capture data from that product each of those products as it goes through that routing um, another thing which I think gets uh, can be classed under the under the process is also maintenance so any tasks which need to be done to maintain your manufacturing process so uh, often like this is an add-on module or again another integration are the abilities within the MES to uh, to schedule or to trigger maintenance tasks based on the manufacturing process? So, like a minimum requirement should be uh, the ability to put in, you know, calibration checks, station cleanliness checks, and have them, you know, once every twelve months, or once every day, once every week, just schedule those in. I think a really nice feature to add on is to trigger uh, maintenance tasks as and when they are needed. So for example, to if the MES can connect to a, to a filter switch um, over there and when that switch closes, trips, that triggers a change of filter task to the maintenance department. That's a really, really nicely integrated system that is responding to your manufacturing process as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. 
The next one I think we can take a look at is quality, is features related to improving and making the quality system within your business just easier to maintain, easier to implement, less admin. So things like having standard operating procedures and work instructions uh, that operators can follow, whether that be to follow an, actually assemb uh, an actual assembly or semi-manual process, or if it's just work instructions showing how to set up or change over a machine before switching to just monitoring the machine as it goes through a batch, uh, that those features help just standardize processes across the business and make sure that when there's an improvement in quality, everyone steps up that level uh, at the same time and everyone's uh, uh, singing from the same hymn sheet, basically. Another one with quality is to the ability to have quality checks interspersed throughout your process. So avoiding the issue where all quality checks are done right at the end of the line, they're identified, and then it's just a huge amount of rework. A MES that can intersperse those checks as and when they've happened. So um, have you fitted the correct, correct circuit board at the stage where that's done? If that's captured at that point, uh, fixing that problem, all it needs is, okay, swap it out, put it straight back in. If you catch that problem at the end of the line, it means stripping everything back. Uh, the, the change in the amount of rework and the cost of that to the business is ridiculous. So capture a, a system that lets you put those quality and process integrity checks, as sometimes called, early on, is just a really essential part of using GMS to help you maintain and better quality. And then coming out of that, you should have that fully traceable digital uh, product record. Some people call it a manufacturing traveler, some a job pack um, that gets uh, filled in and documented automatically as your product goes through the manufacturing process. So no more filling in paper, uh, paper documents with signatures and scribbling in in pencil and crossing it out and getting it fixed later on. Just a simple digital, uh, fully traceable record that shows who did what, when they did it, and what exactly they did. Uh, maybe pulling in batch numbers, serial numbers of components that have been used or batches of material that have been used. That fully traceable record. All of those things give you a solid uh, quality system, a solid set of tools that easily help you implement and maintain your quality system. So number four, I think, is people, is tools to help uh, track and manage uh, the people within your manufacturing process. So features that you're looking at here, I think, are skills matrix. So the ability to manage who's trained to do what process on what type of product line um, just makes it easy to manage uh, who's allowed to do what and for audit purposes, proving to people that if they're not trained, they're not allowed to start this machine, uh, the system locks them out. That just makes your compliance with uh, with with standards and, and audits like that really, really easy. I think the next part is to relate to time tracking. So having standard, so you have standard times for each of your, each of your processes. If the MES can, when everyone scans onto a works order, it's tracking how much time they've spent on each stage of the process, uh, recording that information so that you can spit that out into reports to see, uh, you know, are your standard times correct? Maybe they're not. Maybe you need to go back to your customers and requote some jobs because it actually, you know, you've budgeted it takes two hours, it actually takes four hours. Uh, or is there opportunity for retraining? Or is the work environment just not set up right for particular processes? You know, is the tool positioning just not make sense and make it difficult to do certain jobs? Uh, track time tracking down to that granular level can really help you spot and identify issues like that. And then number five, I think, is reporting. So like one of the big time saves and uh, kind of headache relievers for like particularly managers and directors that a MES can do is just automate your entire manufacturing reporting process. So what I think you should be looking for is where you've got people manually collecting data, putting it into Excel chart, 
uh, into Excel spreadsheets to create some kind of chart that should all be eliminated. So every KPI, the, every top level KPI that you've got and all of the supporting data for those should be captured by the mayors to automatically generate a report. And ideally, send it to you on a notification, either weekly or if it's dropped below or outside the performance uh, kind of targets that you've got for it, it should send you a notification and say, hey, you're, you're below performance, uh, below target performance for this week, go do something about it. So reports like OEEs, uh, first time through, uh, cycle times, or a statistical process control, I think your mayors at a minimum should be uh, covering all of those areas and able to automatically generate that information for you so you don't have to. So the key components of a mess that you should look for are features related to planning and scheduling, uh, features related to the process so that you can track work in process through your factory uh, as it goes through the routing. I think features related to quality, so work instructions, quality reports, in process checks. Uh, number four, features related to people, so skills matrix and time tracking at a minimum. And then number five, rep automated reporting. So you make sure you can get all of the KPIs that you need or that you can work with a supplier to get your report, custom reports for you, uh, for your exact KPIs, and then a few levels below that so you can drill out all the detail. Those are the things uh, I think that are the key components of a mess and the biggest benefit that they can give to your business. Hope this was helpful. If you think I've missed something, if there's something key that a mess really helps your business with, drop that in the comments below and I'd be really interested to hear that from you. Thanks very much and catch you next time. Bye.